everybody welcome to another video and today's video is a lot a bit different because today's video we are finally doing the room tour so without further ado let's get into it so very quickly here's a little pan of my room a little camera pan and this will be mostly kind of a little bit unedited but mindful there is still a little bit of mess Rooms are not perfect. They're not supposed to be perfect. Otherwise, I don't know what would happen if they were perfect. But first, let's show off some of the some of the smaller displays off. Then I will move on to the bigger displays. But here is my wall here. And let me try to back up to get a shot of it. So here it is down here, all the way up there. Chica and Toy Chica and Toy Bon. That's, that's, that's something that I did a while ago and I just hadn't been there to take it down yet. But I do like King K. Rule up there. But uh, yeah, that's my wall right there. That's my little Spider Man area. Now I got some clone troopers there. Predator going at Master Chief. And I got my Super Smash Bros. Amiibo collection. This is not all my Amiibos, as you will see. Some will be scattered all over the place. Not up there, but definitely down there. And this is my kind of random area. I have not filled it up yet. There's still some space there. But I'm also really worried because about that down there. Because I have my internet's right there. And I don't want... Uh, anything heavy to fall down on it and break my internet to where I can't put out these videos anymore. But anyway, there's my little Halo Funko Pop display area. Now down here, I don't even know what's happening down here, but something's happening down there. I just don't know what is. And oh no, my Joker, it, fought, it fell. But anyway, moving on, not going to show the soda collection quite yet. Here's another random shelf that I did. There's a picture of Jesus. Because I am a Christian person and I try to be the best Christian I know how. Air purifier. Sometimes you'll hear that in the backgrounds of my videos. Because that's when I forget to turn it off. So there's a reason for that. A fell over slush puppy. That's kind of embarrassing. And here we got kind of a, I don't want to get a windstorm with the air purifier here. So there's my villains area. As you can see, Dormammu fell. My bounty hunter area, which I think looks very cool. And then up here, along with some more religious stuff, we have the Fortnite shelf. And a little Darth Maul Eminem keychain. But yeah, here is the Fortnite shelf. Currently in process because of the game. So I got Jazzwares Fortnite mixed in with uh, Hasbro Fortnite. Which in my opinion, Hasbro Fortnite's way better. But yeah, here's the 4-inch Jazzwares. And right here we got Count Chocula and Frankenberry. I'm about to drop my phone. There we go. And here is... Here is my desk. Crap, another figure fell. But uh, here are the books I'm currently trying to work on. Right there, some Star Wars books. The reason why I'm having a hard time trying to go through them is because this one's the one I'm trying to read. But I'm not, I don't get interested in books that much. So it's definitely going to be a process reading one book, let alone four books but yeah that those are my book choices i got from the grandma site zoo lily but i got some buddies here that spider-man was on my tree but as you can see i took the tree down so in order i just for it to be down because it's not christmas anymore but here we have the motu display the masters of the universe display and i got Castle Grey Skull and a Rainy Day, which is 
by far my favorite of the Motu collection regarding play sets. That comes close. The land shark back here is second. Oh no, my trap draw. He fell. Okay, there. That's a trap draw I got a long time ago at a flea market. I think it was a flea market. There's my flocked panthor, which I'm very proud of. I really like him. And then some, oh no, scarecrow. Why did you fall? I'm not gonna worry about picking you up now because you could crash all of this and I want to get it on film. But anyway, Scareglow, Scareglow's there, my favorite trap job. And then I have, well, hold on, there. I got this lamp shining on my Motu display a majority of the time. There's a Rise of Evil 2 pack. And here are all the villains, which I really am proud of. I really like them. And then in the middle, the centerpiece, along with the Wind Raider, which I'm also very proud of. I got, I think I got that at Big Bad Toy Store. I forgot I had gotten it. And when I got it, when it delivered, I forgot I had gotten the pre-order on uh, Big Bad Toy Store, but I looked and there it was. I got the flag kind of leaning because there's no place to put plug-in right there. And I have her standing here, and I can have the flag here too. So yeah, that's the reason for that. And if we go over here, we will see some of the heroes in my collection. As you can see, more villains, less heroes. But if we are being completely honest here, the villains are the coolest. <laughs> Moving on. But anyway, you can see there, I got, I got some Motu revelations up here. Orko's kind of blocked, but he's there. But I'm very happy with the Motu Revelations figures. But uh, yeah, I that's my contraption that I came up with. I put the Sword Blast on top of the gun. Sorry, I'm shaking. Probably make you vomit twice already, but anyway. I got the weapons rack that comes off from here. I uh, also uh, put, blah. One of these I have my markers that I customize stuff with. Yeah, there they are. I use the one of the bronzes and I think one of the golds and then the silver and then made that, which I am very proud of. Okay, set that there. The wobbly wall of cans right there. That's the corner that no one ever sees because most of the time my door's open. But I'll show off the shells over here. Here's my heroes of Marvel Legends. That SpongeBob Super 7 react, uh, reaction figure four pack that I got. Steve, the Headless Horseman, which I really like. And then I got that off of Amazon, the, ten, the kind of tin sign thing, which I really like. Storage shelf and a Funko Pop area. A microphone stand, fishing rod that I got for one of my birthdays. Can't really remember which one. You know, some drawers there that I have stuff in. Then the Mandalorian shelf, which I really like. I really like. I really like Mando, and I cannot wait to get some Book of Boba Fett figures in. I'm not ordered any. There is my Frogger arcade machine, and over here, we got a Pac-Man one, too. They're the smaller ones. Now, I got a super bright sign right there, which is very bright in person, and you should not stare at it, because just like the sun, it will blind you, but I want to show you all oh by the way here's where i game there's my gaming station i really like this modok figure then you know blinds just gonna show that briefly because i don't want anyone to pinpoint my location <clears throat> but anyway here is my gremlins wall 
It is not finished. As you can see, I got Mario here and a Mega uh, Frankenstein, but we'll take him down, put him, set him there. And we have some of our NECA Gremlins products, along with a Funko Pop of Venom and Spider-Man. Gremlin, bendable Gremlin, cute Gremlin, big Gremlin, and cardboard Gremlin. <laughs> and yes, I just did see how many, how many times I could say Gremlin in one video. But yeah, there's my Gremlins shelf. Let me see if I can't get a good shot of it yes door to closet two 10 inch Funko Pops and a pen in the floor and Wario but now we go over here I showed some of that off right here that burn you close right here I'm going to have my uh, NECA Universal Monster figure boxes here Obviously, they'll have to move for me to put that in place. And here's where I photo shoot everything, do my reviews and all that other stuff. So, yeah. Got my accessories down here. That's where I keep my wrestling action figures and my wrestling ring. Down there. Sorry if I got really shaky, but yeah. But here in the drawers, these are figure drawers that are very stiff to open because they are jam-packed full of figures, as you can see. The figure drawer. Be careful not to knock that off. I really like that guy though, and that guy. But yeah, there's my, and I have multiple, and I mean multiple soda cans stacked up almost to the ground to up there, so yeah. Here's my Nintendo area with Frank, the Ten Commandments. My Nintendo area that, believe it or not, has not changed in five years, I think. What does that date say? 2018? Almost five years, I think. I don't know. Here are some of my Funko Pop shelves, which I like very much. And uh, that's my Universal monster pop shelves just just forget you see a pink bunny in there oh well, heck there's not really a shot i can but that's a pink bunny that its foot broke and yeah but uh anyway moving on okay now here brings us to one of the main shelves in the room which has two of the most two of the best displays in my room in my opinion which is first it the, teen, the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, display, and I really, really like the figures I got in. I got him on a NECA, is that a NECA stand? Yeah, it's a NECA stand, but yeah. And then I got Pizza Monster there, Mikey, my favorite of the, my favorite of this line, which is the Turtle 4-Pack, love them. Then I got some of the friends of the turtles right here. And then I got a Leonardo fig pen back there. And now we come to the grand finale display. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, the soda shelf. So first of all, so first off, here's the first step of the shelf which as you can see includes a lot of sodas. I've collected a lot of sodas. I filled this shelf up and I still got sodas coming in that I'm having to put somewhere else. So yeah, fun fact, my first chase and my first soda, which got me hooked and started this huge Hanna-Barbera and Ad Icons uh, collection. Started the whole thing. Excuse for my squeaking chair right now. And here's the second step, which includes my DC, my DC uh, soda figures, my 
80s movies, well, 80s to 90s movie figure, you know, the movie type soda figures. And then the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, soda figures goes down to about there. And then the Motu, then the Motu going into cartoons, which lead us down to the last step. And this guy fell. Pick you up right now. All right, which brings us down to the last step of the place. First of all, R2-D2, and yeah, hold on, you, you gotta move, all right, there. And you, as you can see, the rest of the classic cartoons coming down here to Disney, then into the two games, into Funko, into some of the other figures and then into Marvel, which concludes the soda, the soda, sh blah, the soda shelf, which I am quite proud of myself and also on the top. And yes, very good. We're bringing it back home for the end of this video with all the scales that I collect which are which vary between scales but anyway i hope you all have enjoyed this room tour this very long announced room tour and i hope you all enjoy these style videos where it's not a review but you still get to enjoy to hear my voice but anyway i hope you all did enjoy this video and if you did then please leave a like and if you enjoy my overall content, then please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get notified for when I next make a video, then please put the notification bell on. Ding that bell. And I think I covered everything. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful and blessed day. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.